Very good. It is nine o'clock. Uh, good morning again uh, to everyone. I'm so glad that you uh, joined uh, me on the session uh, to uh, hear uh, the answer for your questions. This uh, session is both for Government 2305 and 2306 because my uh, requirements are very similar and uh, certain things are exactly the same thing. So if I cover one, it uh, basically covers uh, uh, the other one. Uh, however, if there are some differences, I will uh, let you know. So I don't have really a presentation for this uh, Zoom meeting, basically questions and answers. So who wants to ask the first question? Please activate your mic and ask me the question. Finals, yeah, you do have a finals. Oh, is that the... Like, is it already on the <clears throat> on Canvas, or is that going to be like uploaded later? Yeah, let me uh, respond to your question by um, sharing my screen. Uh, going to the coursework. That's a very good question. I was expecting that question from you, uh, one of the students. So uh, I am at the course site. So for the final, you come to this assignment for both courses is the same way. You come to the assignments, you come to um, required final essay question. I happen to open 2306. 2305 is the same way, except the questions are different. So let's click on this. You can go ahead and click on these because uh, no harm can come. Just uh, don't, uh, you cannot take the test by um, canvas you have to go to the honor lock to take the test so uh, in terms of the final uh, certain rules apply here uh, you need to make sure that you read these one important thing for the final is that you may bring three by five note cards for the final these must be only handwritten no printed materials, there's no limit. You need to show them to me and uh, it is okay to use uh, three by five cards only. No other forms are acceptable. And uh, this uh, exception applies only for the final for uh, both government 2305 and 2306. And uh, uh, It, this uh, rule does not apply to test four, you know, that which is uh, multiple choice questions, only uh, for the final. Now, uh, you need to scroll down further here, read the uh, requirements. One major problem that uh, we are having with many students, they do not scan the room properly and uh, they don't do it uh, 360 degree. So, when I go and watch the videos, I have to call them, call them to my office and the report and this, that. Uh, so we run to some problems. And we caught some people um, that they are violating the rules of the testing. So if we see that we are going to re require you to come and take the test at the TJC's testing center. So be careful about uh, uh, scanning the room and uh, observing these rules that are set here. I'm not going to read these uh, detailed uh, rules for you. You can do it yourself, uh, but let's scroll down. These are the exactly same thing for both courses, but here is the difference. I open 2306 for you to see it, but I can go to 05 as well in a minute. You can see you have a different questions. For the final, there are five essay questions. You see here, one, discuss the evolution of uh, seven Texas Constitution, uh, explain the basic forms of the local government, list explain types of elections and uh, formal informal powers of the governor and so on. So uh, you study these five questions for the final. For the U.S. government is the same way. There are five different questions regarding the federal government. And uh, Computer will select only three for you. 
You study all five. It's not your choice and my choice. And computer randomly will select three for you. You need to answer that based on my instructions here. That I need full paragraph, uh, break down the uh, answers, and make sure that uh, uh, you do that. Now, how do you study for these five questions? Well, uh, you go to the chapter regarding each subject. If you want to study, let's say, take example, explain the basic forms of local government. All right, where do I go to study for the final? You come to the modules, you scroll down, find the chapter on local government. Chapter 12 is about local government. Do I have a lecture for you? Certainly. Chapter 12 lectures. Click on that. And uh, you read this information to prepare for that question. And I have highlighted with uh, yellow, uh, red, that uh, getting your attention that uh, you, I need or I, I, I need you to read these. I expect that you have the core of these information uh, in your answers. So I don't expect you uh, draw these um, graphics for me on the final because we don't have the, uh, the canvas doesn't have uh, capability to do so. But uh, I need the information in a written script, which is explained in a black and white and red here. So the core of these information has to be covered. Not all the details because you don't have the time in 30 minutes to cover all these. But I need to have an idea that you read the chapter, you know the, you know how the city government is financed, how the county government is financed, what is the commission form, and so on and so forth. So that's your answer for uh, uh, that question. If a question is about the governor, you go to the modules, you come to the chapter on uh, governor, governor of Texas, chapter eight, lecture, um, uh, lecture, um, and uh, sorry for the interruptions, uh, chapter eight, and uh, you read the essay questions here, uh, uh, the answer here uh, to prepare for the final. And here again, the question is there about the governor's power, the role and functions of the governor. And uh, I highlighted with red to get your attention that I need some of this uh, information to be in your answers. So I covered 2306. Let's go back to 2305 Federal because I don't know uh, who is in among the nine people are present here are from federal government. So uh, to also uh, cover you here. So uh, we come here, we uh, click on the assignments and then uh, we come to the required final essay. You can click on this link. Don't worry about it. You are not taking the test. You need to read the information. So the same rules applies, three by five cards uh, for the final and uh, no limit to the number of cards. You need to show them to me. Don't use paper, books, or any other creative or phone uh, uh, during the final. Those are violations and cheating and uh, it must be reported. And then you come uh, scroll down, read the rules and regulations, uh, you know, the specifics about the final, uh, that how to do it. Here is your five questions. Define federalism, describe the structure of leadership in Congress, five constitutional powers of the president, and it goes on to five questions. You study these five questions, computer will randomly select the same question, uh, three same questions from this five, and uh, then you have to answer those. When you answer folks your questions, don't uh, you know answer in just one paragraph. Break down for grade and purpose. It is very uh, difficult for me uh, to read the long paragraph and uh, grade you properly because for each paragraph I assign uh, grades uh, because you need to separate the answers that, okay, you answered the original and jurisdiction and the appellate jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. The next paragraph, you talk about the rule of uh, four and uh, writ of certiorari. And uh, again, uh, if you break down, uh, it will e grading will be much easier for me and for your also uh, 
and make sure that you cover them. Sometimes students um, don't do that. They write very, you know, lengthy uh, paragraph uh, that makes it difficult for grading purpose. And also you may forget to cover certain uh, topics. So how do you study for these uh, five questions? Let's take randomly, just again, question number two here. Describe the structure of leadership in Congress. Again, that's one paragraph. Explain the primary responsibility of each position is one paragraph. In a separate paragra paragraph, how a bill becomes a, I specifically mentioned, sometimes I mention, sometimes I don't, but I'm just telling you verbally, you need to break down in paragraphs. So we go to the chapter on Congress. We go to modules. We go to the chapter on uh, Congress here, chapter 10, all right? Lecture on Congress. You click on that. So your answer is buried here. So you need to read this answer and come to see that when you come to, uh, uh, I highlighted how a bill becomes a law. That's part of the question, congressional leadership. Why did I highlight and put in the red? I want you to pay attention. I have a graphics for you and you need to go to the specifics of all these, you know, the graphics, which is listed here and respond to the question. And you can uh, write short notes in your uh, three by five cards during the final. You don't have to be stressed out and you can write good essays to get 200 points for the final. So if the question is about the president's power, you come to the uh, chapter on presidency and um, lecture on presidency. So uh, I'm asking for the functions of the governor. Folks, don't, when there is an essay question, I don't need listing. It has to be in the essay format. Here I have listed these. Sometimes students copy these to their notes and they give me, oh, Dr. K, I covered all the uh, roles of the president in uh, this format. No, I'm asking for examples. So you really need to come down and uh, read the detailed, you read the president's role. That's just the, uh, getting your attention that what we are going to cover, that's the index. It's not the response. The response is right here to uh, cover, you know, the, with the examples, um, uh, the role of the president um, and um, all is covered here. So um, yeah, I, I have more, um, information here scroll down all the way because sometimes i refer to the answer uh, up there but uh, here really gets to the bottom of it. the president is the chief executive as a chief executive some examples as a chief legislator examples as a chief um, justice examples so this is the response not the list at the top that's not sufficient you will not get the full credit so don't list anything in the essay questions. I need full answer. So uh, that's the answer basically to your question. Uh, uh, did I cover your uh, question? Yes, you did. Very good. Any follow-up question for that? No. No, okay. Any other person, any other questions? From students. Activate your mic so we don't uh, waste time. Any other questions you have? How, how is the extra credit going to work? Yeah, that's a very good question. Extra credit. Thank you, sir. Uh, we go to the assignments. And you scroll down, come here. Uh, you come here. Uh, all of you see my screen, right? I want to make sure that you are all seeing my screen. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, very yeah. good. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, first of all, in order to take advantage of extra credit, uh, you must be a member of International Education Club. Without membership, you will lose 10 points, whatever the value of the project is. You don't get 10 points by membership, but you lose it if you are not a member. Uh, click on this, then there are another click that you need to click on this link here and become a member. This is not an instant credit. It is just has a negative impact if you uh, 
are, are, are not the member. So uh, that's the way it works. So it doesn't cost you anything. Um, uh, just a few questions you answer and you become a member. And that's the way we get funding to provide uh, lectures and other, you know, if uh, possible, other uh, extra credit opportunities for you. If we don't have any members in our club, uh, we will not get funded. So we, the number speaks. The larger the number, we, we get the better funding. So make sure that you get the membership. Now, once you do that, the second step is this is the only available uh, optional uh, concert, Azerbaijani lecture and concert. There is a possibility of 130 points, as I told you in my announcements, for you to take advantage of this uh, project and uh, uh, get those points because there is no other projects. So uh, click on this link. All the information you need to know is right here. Let me see if I can get rid of this. Okay, yeah. Um, everything you need to know about the upcoming project on Monday is here. First of all, let's talk about the concert. Concert and lecture is going to be from three to five on Monday. And the important thing here is that you need to RSVP. You need to let us know that you are coming because we need to adjust the room, uh, the seats to the number of the people who are coming. You know, uh, there are considerations on our end that you don't know, you say just, okay, I'm going. No, you are uh, have to let us know that you're coming. So we make the necessary adjustment. We do not uh, run out of uh, space. Uh, uh, there are a lot of other logistical uh, arrangements that you are not aware. Uh, RSVP is very important. Simple question, you come here, uh, cl uh, cl click on the link, you answer a few questions here and uh, these are just the tentative answers for you. If you don't comply with some of these, it doesn't obligate that you have to do it. So you can uh, just all we need at this point, uh, you respond and uh, then um, uh, let's see, I lost the screen. Uh, I need to get back to it. Give me a minute. What did I do? I did something. Um, I lost the screen. I think I can get back to it. Okay, I did. Okay, I'm back. So we come back here. Um, uh, we need to uh, go back to this link here. Okay, all right, we are good. Um, so uh, you answer the questions on that uh, form. And before you do that, uh, read the information, then respond to that questions. Uh, there are some additional information here that you can read uh, that what's the logic stuff, uh, glance over these things. But the important information is here in the menu bar here. Make sure that you click on these links, all of them and read it uh, because you need to read these to know what's going on. It's not just a physical presence between three and five qualifies you for uh, the whole credit. So, uh, schedule you need to click on this to read the sometimes students uh, email me call me at three o'clock uh, on monday dr k where is the location location uh, may change you know it's uh, beyond my control make sure we update the things here so uh for now it's going to be in apache room number one and two so uh you come over there uh for grading uh and the, uh, I have a map for you in case you don't know where Rogers Student Center is. It's by the bookstore. Most of you are familiar with it. Let's talk about grading system. This is really very important part of uh, this project that some of you don't know uh, what to expect. For your physical presence from three to five, you get 50 points. Now we are going to have a small exhibit it has a lot of information. If you come 15 minutes, you complete your registration by 2.45. Uh, you get 25 points. The reason I put this here, because people in the past uh, came after three o'clock and they uh, disturbed the lecture and performance distractions. So we really need to be on time. 
And if you come uh, after uh, three o'clock for every fraction of uh, five minutes, you're going to lose 10 points. So you really cannot afford um, to do that. Uh, so uh, I encourage you uh, to come uh, early 15 minutes, get that 25 points and be on time. So that way uh, people are not walking um, after three o'clock and causing distractions for me and performer uh, to um, uh, see someone uh, trying to find a seat or something. And also it's going to be recorded session. So we don't want people walking in front of camera stuff. 25 points. So that's 75 points. 25 points is for writing a poetry or essay. Instruction is here that what to do, when to submit. You have three days after the uh, event to submit. And do not use, instructions are here, do not use the canvas to send me your uh, one-page essay. It's just one page. This essay is freelance writing. It is not a research paper. And uh, all you need to do is just uh, what I learned from this concert, my most uh, impression of the concert, what I like or the least like. So you can respond to all these or one of these in one page, uh, double space or single space, yeah, single space uh, poetry and one page. And uh, <clears throat> you use your personal email or um, TJC email, doesn't matter, I don't care. And But important thing, you email me uh, to this email. If, whether it's coming from Gmail or uh, Apple or uh, Yahoo or whatever, it makes no difference. So, but it comes to me official email here. This is the reason for this is um, you send as an attachment. Do not include your essays within the context of uh, email. You will not get the credit because as an attachment, I take your file, uh, your uh, document, I put in a folder for grade and purpose. So uh, that way I keep track of, you know, who did what and then uh, grade you. So uh, it is important that you follow the instruction. You label your document with your last name, first name and concert Azerbaijan, whether it's a PDF or um, Word, it doesn't matter. PDF is acceptable and doc is acceptable. Uh, so uh, they are okay. Uh, there are some additional activities that you can raise that hundred. So far, we covered 100 points. So uh, what about the 30 points? I have a face-to-face -face class on Tuesday, the next day, November 14th, from 2.55 to 4.15 in Pertel 306. So this one doesn't require an essay. If you attend to that one, you get additional 130 points. So 30 points. So that adds up to 130 points. So that's a very good uh, sum of uh, grades for you. If you want to replace your uh, research essay with 100 points from the concert and have 30 additional points, you can do that. So uh, it is your choice uh, if you want to do that. There are some limited uh, other activities that if you want to do photography, um, videography stuff, you need to visit with me in person to get the specifics. So uh, coming over there and starting recording is not going to, uh, I'm not going to allow you to just to do it because um, only people that are uh, have a permission will be able to record the sessions. But if you have an interest to do it, if you do the photography, you don't have to write that one page essay here. And this uh, position is very limited, um, cell phone um, and uh, single lens uh, reflective cameras, good quality cameras are acceptable. But you need to uh, discuss these with me before the event, either uh, today or tomorrow, because uh, Monday, I have no time to visit anyone because the guest will be here. I'll be busy, busy to uh, taking care of his needs and the logistics. So you have to make an attempt to visit me in person uh, uh, if you want to do photography or videography pre-approved. These are pre-approved activities that uh, you need to do it. And there are some specifics here. Read it. Um, it is just something that if you want to, you enjoy doing it, um, and uh, then uh, your essay is your camera. 
you are writing your photo, uh, pictorial essay with your camera by pictures and the videography. So that's the reason I don't require that one page essay for a videographer. Uh, that's the only difference. Um, I have a very limited pre-approved activities uh, above and beyond everything else. Uh, those are just have to be um, uh, checked with me to see if I need uh, your help. So for setup and takedowns, uh, you can contact me. So basically, that's uh, the extra credit. Do you have any uh, follow-up question for uh, what I covered? No, sir. Thank you. Was it uh, sufficient to your answer? Yes, sir. Anyone else? There are 10 people on the in this session. Do you have any other questions? Uh, just to clarify, uh, you said that if we do the, the extra credit and get the full 130, we uh, we don't have to do the essay and we would still get like, you, you can cover it with the 100 points, right? Correct. If you have okay. this one, if you don't get that one, you get zero for that one. But you have 100 here that makes up for that. Yeah, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Remember, your grading system, that's a good question. The grading system is like a bank account. Anything you earn, it adds up. So that 100 that comes to your total, uh, you know, nobody knows that except me and you that where it's coming from. So it's going to add up to your total. Any other questions? Follow-up questions about extra credit, finals, the rest of the semester. This is your chance. Um, since we don't see each other on a regular basis, to answer your questions. Since you asked me a question about the research paper, let me see if I can get back to that. Um, Yeah, I can. Um, for the research paper, for both uh, government 2305 and 2306, is the, exactly the same thing. If you are taking both courses with me, you cannot do, um, you know, um, the same essay for both courses. It has to be totally different topics. Information is uh, on this uh, link here. Everything you need to know are uh, is uh, posted here. Some people do not click on this menu bar here. Um, and um, let's see, where is your our menu bar here? Um, required. Uh, yeah, here. Menu bar is here. Um, the home. What is a research paper? Method of delivery. Grading criteria. Selective approved. You cannot just come up with your own topics. You must get um, approval from me if you have a, another topic. There are certain topics are covered here, approved already, but uh, some others I'm open if you get my approval. Grading criteria, read it, follow the uh, you know um, um, instructions here that what you need to do, you need to have a hypothesis to prove or disprove it with your evidence and, um, and the graphics and the resources that you have. It used to be a 10 pages uh, I required in the past, but uh, I lowered it to six page. So it really boils down the one page with the title and resources, the four page of content that uh, I uh, demand a good quality uh, essay. If you write, you know, uh, good, um, quality uh, essay in four pages, um, it's going to require a lot of uh, time that you have to spend to write uh, meaningful and uh, objective and academic uh, uh, research paper. So if you don't want to do this, um, then if you have extra credits, you can add up to that point. All right, any other questions? about extra credit, the final, and the mini projects, the, and the research paper. So if you have any other questions, please let me know before I end the session. Anyone else?
burning questions. No question is a bad question. I promise you. If you don't have any questions, I'm going to end the session. And um, folks, stay in touch. And um, um, by phone, by uh, personal visit. So uh, semester is ending very rapidly. So um, you need to uh, make sure that everything is covered so we don't miss anything. So if we don't have any questions, I say goodbye to all of you and I see you, some of you on Monday or if not before. And uh, take care. Have a great weekend. The session is ended. You may leave. Thank you. Thank you very much. Was this session helpful? Yes, I, I would say it is. It was. Yes, it was helpful. Great. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone.